Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do another update video on the camper, which you can see behind me. It's now finally orange. So today I got the Raptor liner kit out and I had, I think I mentioned previously, I used the eight bottle system, uh, which comes with eight bottles of the tintable Raptor liner, two cans of the hardener material, and then I bought separately, because it doesn't come with it, I bought separately eight pouches of orange color to mix in with that Raptor liner. So let's do a quick walk around and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so the color is the main thing that I'm gonna show you, but I'm also gonna show you a couple of littler things that I did. First of all, um, I moved the spare tire to the rear. So on this trailer, the spare tire used to be mounted right here, which was kind of in the way for this door. So I pulled it off there and I re-welded the bracket on the back so that it is out of the way. Uh, second of all, you can see this strap attached underneath here. Now I sprayed a little bit of Raptor on this, but it's a steel tube that goes across there. I think I may have showed this before. That's what I used to winch this thing on and off the trailer with. And in the rear, just walk back here real quick. I'll show you. I have my Reese hitch mounted now. So you can see underneath here real quick, it bolts in to this four by six on this side and the other one on this side. And in the back, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bracket that attaches to the cross beam back there. You can't see that very well, uh, but that gives it some tipping stability. So, that is not attached to the box in any way. It's attached to the subframe. So when I pull on that, I can put a reese hitch in this with a ball on it, and I can winch to get this thing off the trailer. And if I put bikes or a, you know, a cargo rack on the back of here, <clears throat> it won't be bending or twisting the actual box of the camper in any way. But now let's take a look at this finish. Here you get a good Good view of the the textured finish down the right side the passenger side so eight bottles i i put two coats on the bottom of this trailer now i was gonna paint or primer or do something different on the bottom but i figured you know i got this thing i got this this liner stuff i might as well just use it so i went ahead and wrapped or lined the bottom of the trailer too now it has two coats on it and that's all i'm going to do for the bottom it shouldn't see nearly as much weather or anything as, as the sides and the top. So uh, what you see right here, the back and the driver's side has two coats. Um, the front and the top have one coat. So that's as far as eight bottles got me. Now, if you're thinking of doing this yourself on your camper, I should mention, remember that this one's 10 feet long five feet tall and I just I told you I wrapped or lined the bottom so it took me two bottles to do the bottom two coats on the bottom so if you're thinking about doing this and you have a more traditional sized teardrop then the eight bottle system would easily do that um, you know if I had bigger windows or bigger openings or you know more things coming out I have a lot of surface area to cover is my point so let's go up here to the front Right here, you can see a perfectly good example of the difference between one coat and two coats. So my first coat, which you see on the top two thirds here, you can see some of the primer through here still. Now I did that intentionally. I put the first coat on light and I put the second coat on a little bit thicker to try to fill it in nice. So the top up there and the, the very top roof, they both look like this right here with one coat. The bottom part that you can see down in here, this has the second coat on it, okay? So I think two coats would probably be adequate, but in my case, I'm gonna go ahead, I bought four more bottles, um, which should allow me uh, two bottles to finish up, you know, the, the front and the top, uh, the second coat there, and then the other two bottles, I can kind of go around the entire trailer and just kind of fill in anywhere where I see uh, white sticking through. So I don't know if you wanna call that two and a half coats or, or what, what do you wanna call it, but down here I see 
you may have noticed a little scuff mark. So I have some work to do in my system of getting this on and off the trailer. So when I back the trailer under the front end of this, the, the back corner of my trailer just scuffed there just a little bit. Now, once it's on the trailer, you see that I have a, a, a two by piece of dimensional lumber here and I have one in the back. Those two pieces of dimensional lumber will not allow the box of this to hit the rails. But when you back onto here and back the trailer under there, it has to be perfect. So I think I have a couple ideas. I won't, I won't share them now until I try them and see if they work, but I, I have some ideas. But I'm pretty pleased so far with the overall, I, I really like the color. The color on the, the black tra trailer looks, I think it looks super cool. Um, so I'm excited to get the rest of the material in and get this thing wrapped up. So the next phase is here, like I said, I've got four bottles of Raptor liner and four more orange colored packets, if you want to call them that, on their way here. That should allow me to finish up this uh, exterior. After that, I think I only have to let this stuff sit for 24 hours to, I mean, this has only been, I don't know, four or five hours and it's, it's dry to the touch easily. But I think full cure is maybe 72 hours. So if we sit it out there for three days, get it super hard, um, I should be able to pull the cardboard out of the doors and window openings and after that 72 hours, I should be able to put my doors in, my windows in, my rear hatch in, and get my carpet laid on the inside, my mattress in, finish the wiring. I got a couple pieces of trim board. I got a couple of shelves to build on the inside still. And like I said, we may paint the inside, but we can paint the inside later if we want to. That's not a problem. We can That can be after I kind of finish everything here. Um, to be honest, I think that's going to be my wife's job. So um, I'm worried about getting this thing roadworthy and weather tight and ready to go on our first trip. So those are going to be my next steps. I appreciate you guys watching this video and do me a favor and share these with, with folks. I have learned a ton on how to build this trailer. I would have never got the idea to Raptor line it if, if it weren't for YouTube videos and, and finding videos like I'm trying to provide here. And I hope somebody can take this and use it and appreciate it and, you know, maybe share it with somebody and, and give them an idea. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.